Hey everybody and welcome back to Koi Pond Lifestyle. It's time for action today. I've been keeping an eye on my ammonia levels and nitrite levels. Now I was trying to get my pond to manage itself with these. You know a lot of people have said that it's a waste of money these products are of beneficial bacteria. Let the pond do it themselves. So I thought okay I'll have a go. So I've sort of started feeding almost a, two weeks ago now and pond's hovering 11 to 12 degrees and it's about staying there it's got some beautiful weather coming out at the moment changing my uv bulb now so all that's managing the algae that could potentially come back but hopefully it won't because that keep it at bay so the nitrite levels and the ammonia levels have started going up so i managed to feed a little bit but i want to keep feeding so i'm going to have to add some beneficial bacteria so that's what we're going to do today and i'm going to put it in the new bay of the kk1000 so let's get that done so the two products I'm going to be using today are, I've seen it, I've mentioned these in previous videos, and these have been sitting in my garage waiting for this day, is the Absolute Pearls. I think there's two, uh, <coughs> two balls left. <coughs> yeah, that's fine. In that packet. And then we've got the Evolution Aqua, the Pure Plus, the starter gel for filters. So, we're going to use this into the KK1000 and potentially just drop a little bit on top of the Jack Matium. And then we're going to put one of these balls, one of these balls into the, filter, into the brush filters so that my theory there is that the water flushes under the thing and then up through the KK1000 and then any beneficial bacteria, beneficial bacteria that makes it out of the KK1000 will land in the Jack Matium so that I should have all bases covered then. So let's get these added. Okay, so first one we're gonna add is the Pure Plus, the filter start gel. Check before use, rock and roll. Pour the contents in. Now, I've turned the UV off because I've just done a, quite, a, quite a, a substantial water change and I've cleaned my two mechanical bays so I'm just replacing the water now, so everything's, everything's stopped. This is now isolated off. I'm not running water through this at the moment, and I'm going to keep that for, for an hour or so because I want the gel to land in here and then soak through there first, and then when I turn it on, it'll bubble across to there. I'm going to take this filter floss out as well because I don't want the bioinflation bacteria landing in there. I want it going into the jack matting, so I'm going to take that out, blob some in here, let it settle a little bit, then turn the air on, let it circulate as much as possible to give it plenty of circulation so it all gets coated and then I'll flick the pumps back on and then it'll start feeding it into there but I'll I'll put the ball in there as well so anyway let's see how we go so here we go let's just take the filter floss out first And then give it a good shake, rattle and roll. And I'm going to put about half the tub, I think, in here. Just blob a little bit in there as well. I mean, it'll 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 soak through anyway. But yeah, so I'm going to leave that like that for a minute. And then I've got some saved for when I do a next filter clean. So I'm going to let that soak a little while. And then next one to go in is the ball, or one of the two. So I don't like touching these to be honest because they've got obviously bacteria, is it good for us? I don't know. So I'm going to just squeeze that into this bay. theory being that the water comes into there underneath up through the KK1000 and then down through the jet matter so anything that when this ball is sitting below this as it dissolves it'll come up through the KK1000 anyway and then down through the jet matting so that ball can stay in there cool I'm going to give my hands a thorough wash now, faffing around with bacteria. 
before I do anything else, wash my hands. Right, so just flick the pumps on, the air pump, not the not the pond pump, just put the air pump on because I want to circulate around that round a little bit, but I'm not I don't want you want this water to go through to there yet. I wanna I wanna get this circulated. Make sure that everything's coated in there. See you can always tell your dead spots as well when you do this. A dead spot down there that's nothing's moving. A little bit annoying. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. You have to make sure you've got plenty of oxygen in because beneficial bacteria benefits benefits that thrives and is works better in warmth, darkness and oxygen. So you've got to put plenty of oxygen into your pond and your filter system when you put in this kind of beneficial bacteria in because it, it's it enjoys it more when there's lots of oxygen, lots of darkness and higher temperatures. So now I'm above 11 degrees. I think this is about the right time to put this in. So I'm just gonna let it mix up for another few minutes and then I'm gonna get the pumps kicked in. Okay, I haven't suddenly shrunk. I'm on my knees. <laughs> but just while I'm down here, I'm just having a look at the side of the pond because I've just taken a couple of inches away from my, out of my pond doing that clean. And you find that you get a lot of the the algae growth on the side of your pond. Now a lot of people are saying, how do I scrub this off? How do I clean it off? I don't clean or scrub it off because I believe it's, it's beneficial to your pond. That's the, the pond's natural lining in your pond. So to be honest, if you started trying to clean that stuff off, you'd be like painting the fourth bridge. You'd have murky water all the time and, and I think you'd be losing out on your beneficial gains from the natural pond. Another question people have asked, been asking me is why did you use green fiberglass and you go for usual black, everybody else goes for black. My reasoning around there was that it goes green anyway. So, so I might as well do it green and it'll just go green anyway. And it's green and green. Something else I found here as well, and I might need your help on this one. Again, this is a comment below one, is the last week I have been finding like a something floating on my pond. It's like a scum or something. And if I, I've used some filter floss to sort of wipe it over and try to wipe some of it to see what it was. And it comes off like a, an orange color. I'll show you. So if I get some filter floss, and sort of just drag it over the surface of the water like this I hope you can see that because I'm getting this orange tinge of stuff I don't know where it's coming from because I've still got my covers on I've still got my covers on so I don't know where it's coming from you know what to do some pond experts out there. So what I have looked at doing is investing in a tool to sort that. I think I've looked at the floating pond skimmers. A friend of mine at Kokoi Addiction in the US has done a trial, well has one of these, and I asked him to do a bit of a trial for me and he did a video on how well his was doing. So that was interesting because it seemed to work quite well. And I think he's, he's actually made his own now. He's having a little bit of a toy around with, his, with, with making one himself. Do I want to do that? Maybe, this is called Pond Lifestyle. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Every day's a school day, etc., etc. So I've, I've looked at this, the Pond Skimmer and I have a funny feeling that's the way to go because this for me is, is not acceptable on my pond. Because whatever it is, is also mixing with the food and the, and the fish are ingesting it. So, yeah, I don't know. I shall uh, 
be getting something to get rid of that. So that's something else. So what about things like covers? Notice I've not taken my covers off yet. It's just, there's no consistency with the weather at all at the moment, is there? I don't know how you guys are getting out there, but I actually, we actually had snow uh, four days ago in April. What is that all about? Oh my goodness me. So yeah, my covers aren't off yet. I'm still waiting for that special day for the grand opening. <laughs> anyway, that's it at the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down the bottom there. Like to all your friends, share, click the notification bell. Thanks very much for watching. Let's watch quick part of the lifestyle.